What's up guys? Uh, I have a new pod review to do today for you and today is a wild variety. Uh, pretty special. I'm into growing a lot of wilds. Uh, I believe they're very unique and special and they're way different than making your own crosses. They, you know, they're truly the, the rare unique varieties out there in the world. Uh, today I have Cap 1445. And this is a Capsicum Chocionis. Um, and it's a wild variety. That's just the uh, species of it. And people ask, what does cap mean? C A P. Uh, that's the uh, initials or the call sign for the uh, seed bank that it comes from. And this being C A P which is from Deutschland, Germany. Um, CGN, would, or CGN would be from the Netherlands. Uh, PI uh, would be from the US. CO would be from Taiwan, China. Uh, BHG, BGN would be from Brazil. Uh, but these uh, came from the German Sea Bank, but they, uh, the species uh, Capsum chuckionis uh, originated and originates, comes from uh, country of Bolivia down in South America uh, they're very wiry skeleton looking plants that grow real wiry and funky uh, and branch out and uh, really cool unique variety uh, I enjoy growing them and uh, I'm going to go ahead and pot test these two for you real quick um, and then uh, get into it and this is the flower. I picked one of the flowers so you guys can see a very small white flower. Um, this side profile. They don't get very big. They start out and they the, the flower falls off. Little green pod forms and gets bigger. To, forms to a green pod of this size and then they ripen up to a uh, orangish to a red color being the final stage so with that being said we'll go ahead and yep, they fall off real easy too so see fell right on off calyxes are, are pretty cool calyx is the end part of it different than other chinenses and annuums the calyx is very different alright guys got them right here Go ahead and try them out. Did two so I get a little taste profile. Um, not bad. Hard to get the flavor. Um, it's like a tomatoey, but not not an earthy flavor at all. Um, hmm. Um. I don't know. They're just so small. It's hard to taste. A uh, little little bit of heat across the tip of my tongue. Uh, hmm. I've made some sauce with it, and it's pretty good. Uh. They, uh, it has, a, it has a, a nice basic chili taste to it. I'm trying to hard to explain the flavor. Uh, but it's not bad. Uh, just no throat burn. A little bit of heat in the mouth right back here. Just a tiny bit. But, um, you know, some people that could be real hot too. But to me, it's just, a, you know, I'd say medium heat. Um, lingers a little bit. Not bad. Um, you know, I really like the taste of it. It's not an overwhelming taste, not a very strong, but uh, you get, I don't know, 15 little pods and you make a kicking sauce with it. It'll give you a good little mouth burn. Um, they got a good amount of seeds in there, too. Uh, a pod probably has 10 seeds in it and packing that little thing. So, you know, I usually take a spoon and I kind of press them down and mash it and then 
separate some of the seeds from the, the pod and then, you know, usually try to dry it out and then make it into a powder form and then put it into something. That's probably the best way that I do it with such small pods. But uh, that was the Cap 1445. Caps come chucky on us. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I have a bunch more pod reviews coming up, sauce reviews, uh, more plant updates. Going to update you on my capsicum pubescens, some other wild chili plants. So hope you guys stay tuned and appreciate you uh, watching. And you guys have an excellent day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.